Today I'm going to be doing the gradient adhesive screen mod for the Casio F91W. To disassemble the watch, I'm going to be using a screwdriver as well as a pocket knife. I'm also going to be using a pair of tweezers. I'm showing two here just because it looks cool. You only need one. And uh, the watch itself, of course. So I'm going to start off by putting down a piece of tissue paper just because the table is kind of hard and I don't want to damage the face of the watch. Then I'm going to put the watch face down. Um, I use a Phillips head screwdriver, a fairly small one, to unscrew the four screws on the back of the case, which you're going to see me do now here. It's pretty straightforward, just unscrew all four. Um, it's good to maybe have a little piece of adhesive tape to stick the screws to, or to have like a bottle cap or something to keep them in, because they are very small and you don't want to lose them, because I don't know how to get new ones. You could probably buy them online, but... Just save the hassle and keep an eye on them. Keep them somewhere safe. Next, you should be able to just lift the case back right off. And before you can take the movement out, you have to get rid of this rubber sealing ring. Uh, I like to use a pair of tweezers to do this. Just gently lift it out, try not to damage it. You'll see it peels right out of the spot that it sits in there. And then next, we can take out the movement itself. The spot I'm showing right here is where I like to go in with the tip of my pocket knife just because there's no uh, sensitive electronics there. You can just kind of stick it in there and wiggle it out until it pops, and then you can just lift the movement right out. And you'll see right underneath it is the back of the crystal, which is what we're going to stick our adhesive on. So pick which gradient you want. I'm going to go for the rainbow today, and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. There is a bit of wiggle room on the top and sides and bottom of the uh, gradient screen, so it doesn't have to be stuck on perfectly, but still try to cut it as clean as you can just for the best results. Um, like I said, there's some wiggle room, but I also didn't want to extend the gradient too wide. So cut it off clean, then uh, hold it next to your screen and decide which side you want to be up and which side you want to be down. Once you have that figured out, grab your pair of tweezers. And um, this is actually very finicky. It took me a couple of minutes to get underneath it, but I just cut that part out. So you just want to get underneath the screen with the tweezers and peel it off. Uh, it's important to use tweezers for this. Otherwise, you can get fingerprints on the back of the adhesive that do show on the final product. So next, I'm going to carefully line up this adhesive screen with the crystal opening. And I'm going to get it straight, as straight as I can. And as you can see, I'm kind of just rolling it on here from left to right pressing it with my finger as I go along to make sure it's sitting flat and straight and clean. And uh, now I'm just going to turn it around, take a look, make sure there's no air bubbles or any excess adhesive showing. And then I can just reassemble it. Make sure that all the buttons when you're reassembling are pushed out so the movement should pop right back into place. Take a minute to make sure that you put your rubber sealing ring on right. It should just kind of sit right in the little groove that we took it out of, um, you'll know that you did this part right when you put the case back over top and it sits flush. If it's kind of raised in some parts, then your rubber ring probably isn't sitting right. But in my case, I've done it before, a couple of attempts. Um, so yeah, now I can just screw back in my four screws and I'm done. Uh, that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching and uh, enjoy.